My adult earmuffs now. All right, Eric, thank you very much. Hope that went well. I'll watch it in post tape. All right, now for something totally different. Going to the prom is always an important event for teens, but for those who are ill, it takes on even more meaning. Our special contributor, Ayla Brown, has the story of one young man who's making a huge difference. I love this story. Good morning to you. How are Good you? Good morning. Well, this is the story of Fred Scarf, a bright young man with such a big heart. He's made it his personal mission to make sure teenagers with life-threatening illnesses have an opportunity to make their own prom memories. Looking at this dance floor, you can't tell which of these young people are facing life-threatening illnesses and which are not. For 20-year-old Fred Scarf, who organized this very special prom night and knows how fortunate he is to enjoy good health, that's precisely the point. You know, when you get diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, there's a lot that happens. And a lot of the kids who I've talked to always say, I just feel out of the loop from my high school. The way people treat me is different. And what our proms do is kind of, it's a space for them to be themselves. This is the fourth annual prom Fred has organized through a nonprofit he started at the age of 15 called No Worries Now. It was inspired by his friendship with Shiri Gumbiner, a classmate suffering from osteosarcoma, a rare form of bone cancer that primarily affects children. I knew her for a year, and during the summer, she passed away from the cancer and lost her battle. Shiri and I, we really wanted to go to prom together. That was our thing. And it wasn't necessarily the idea of prom, but it was more of a milestone of graduating and kind of saying that we made it. And um, I just realized we all kind of need that milestone and that there's going to be teens like Shiri around the world who need that milestone. And that's kind of why we started the prom. It's a special night for all who attend, including 15-year-old Samantha Ashburn, who also suffers from osteosarcoma. This is her third No Worries Now prom. Sam, you spent a lot of time with Fred. What do you love about him? Oh, his humor. <laughs> He's a funny guy? Oh, he is hilarious. You know, I think I just kept all my two dog bills in here. That's what I, I like, you know, I could talk to him in the hospital and we all sad and like the next minute I'm like laughing so hard. As a mother, what do you enjoy seeing when your daughter goes to the prom? What it means to me to see her get, go to prom, see her getting all dressed up and excited and out there enjoying herself. Because we don't know in time <clears throat> how many proms she'll get to go to or she'll even get to go to her senior prom. So this means a lot to me this year to see her at this prom. Almost 200 teens attended this year's prom, up from last year. And next year, that number is expected to rise again. Fred has succeeded in both honoring his friend's memory and giving Samantha Ashburn, as well as hundreds of other suffering kids, something to look forward to. Do all of your worries go away when you're here tonight? Actually, they do. You just sort of melt away into the moment. We have to give up and sacrifice our regular teenage life and be at the hospital and fight for our lives. So it feels really amazing to be out here and just do all the regular things what all regular teenagers do, you know? These kids, every day for them is very unusual and every day for them is very different. And so for them to not be thinking about the tragedies and all the days that they've been crying and just walking down the red carpet and literally feeling like on the A-list or wherever they feel, it's, it's amazing. This year's prom was a huge success and has inspired Fred to dream even bigger. He has a five-year plan to bring No Worries Now proms to more major cities, including Chicago, and next year, right here in New York City. That video right there of that prom, it looked like the party of the century. A blast. It was. Good for Fred. He's an incredible guy. I mean, you talk guy. about what an incredible endeavor, what he's doing here. Let me ask you this. What are the doctors uh, for the, a lot of the kids that are attending these problems? What do they say as far as what this is doing for them? Well, we spoke to one of the doctors of the kids who go to these proms, yeah. and he says that it's truly medicine for the soul. And going to these proms, it just takes their worries away, at yeah. least for one night. 
And I felt that way too when I was there at the prom. You could see the smiles on these kids' faces. For one night, it didn't even matter. Well, as you said, when you're talking with the kids and they're, you're interviewing them and talking to them about Fred and they keep talking about his sense of humor and how it just kind of, it just kind of seems to rub off on them. These kids are looking for milestones, like they mentioned in the piece, and it just uh, this is a tremendous opportunity for them to get out and have a really good time and kind of forget about recovery it's and things true. for a little bit. All right. Thanks so much. Really Thank great you. story. All right.